Hi, Libra, and welcome to your reading for today. It's going to be your energy reading, the first part of your reading where we're going to see what is going on with you at this time, okay? What is it that your guides or angels need you to know about? Um, we'll get straight into it here. Remember, not every message is going to resonate, okay? If it's not your reading, then maybe check out another placement. There might be a more fitting message for you there. And um, yeah, whenever you see this one, you're meant to see it, okay? It can be past, present, or future. So let's see here, let's get into it. Libra, what is going on with Libra? What does Libra need to know at this time here, holy angels? For anyone interested in a personal reading, that is in the description box below, okay? You can book that directly on my website, okay? So let's see here, guys. What's going on with Libra here, holy angels? Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, tell me what is going on with Libra? What does Libra need to know? You have the lovers and you have the emperor. Lovers, emperor. Which way should I take it, huh? Let's take it with the emperor. Chariot, the nine of cups, and death in reverse. You're gonna move forward here, Libra. You are determined. If one thing, Libra, you are someone that is very determined, okay? You have goals, you know where you're going. You're going towards happiness. You're going towards your dreams, wish fulfillment, okay? No one can stop you, death in reverse. Yeah, two birds just flew by. Oh, and another one just now while I'm watching. No one's gonna stop you from moving forward. They all tried, Libra. They tried, they gave it their all, okay? <laughs> but you're gonna move forward towards your dreams. You know exactly where you're going in your life. Undeterred. Undeterred. Okay. Let's see here, Chariot. What's going on here with Chariot? Actually, I don't know why, but I want these ones. What's going on with Chariot here and Libra? What's going on with Chariot and Libra? The Knight of Wands. The Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so maybe you're dealing with a Cancer here, a Chariot and the Queen of Cups. There's a pigeon call. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Queen of Cups Cancer for someone out here. Knight of Wands, someone here was very, very determined with something here. Now, honestly, what I'm feeling is that this is you. You're determined. You have someone that has a lot of, you're someone with a lot of drive, a lot of passion. Um, Knight of Wands can be someone that's, you know, you're very creative. You're very inspired to move forward, okay? And then you've got someone here, like, trying to stop you, okay? Trying to get in your way, trying to break, break your spirit down, yeah? <laughs> and the chariot is like, I don't give a shit. I'm going to keep moving. You can go ahead and try them. Go ahead and try to break a Libra spirit, yeah? Something about Nine of Cups. The Star. You're going towards your wish fulfillment, okay? Nine of Cups, the Star, and the World, yeah. You're moving forward in your life, okay? There's nothing that they can do to stop it. They could be sitting around moping about it. They feel like they missed an opportunity. Meanwhile, Libra is not even focused on these people. Libra is like, what are my dreams? Where do I wanna go, okay? You have a lot of hope and faith. That's what allows you to keep moving forward in your life and keep going towards your goal. goals is that faith that you have and that dream that you're holding on to, right? And it's a vision. It's a vision of a happy life. It's a vision of peace. It's a vision of fulfillment, feeling emotionally fulfilled and happy. Okay? Feeling like you have more than enough. I mean, you could even have gone through a period with the Four of Cups where you felt like you were missing out, okay? You felt like you were missing out on your life. You felt like maybe people were trying to stop you from living your life. You might have feel like 
you had to give up on a lot of opportunities. You couldn't take certain opportunities. You couldn't go certain paths. You might have had to, you know, go back three steps, right? You might have gone through a long, long period of time where you felt like you were moving one step forward and three steps back, one step forward and three steps back. And it felt like a lot of missed opportunities for you, okay? But it's not deterring you. Just because you feel like every single time you want to move forward, right? Every single time you want to move forward, someone's coming around the corner forcing you to move two steps back because they're trying to hit you with a fucking hammer, okay? It never deterred you from believing in yourself and believing in your dreams and believing in that vision of a happy, peaceful life. And it didn't deter you from holding on to that faith. And it's what kept you making that one step forward. You kept making one step forward, even if you sometimes were forced to take two steps back, but you still got up and you still took that step. Okay? Because if you hadn't, you would just be walking backwards the whole time, right? But you said, no, I'm going to keep pushing forward, even if people try to stop me, okay? So I feel like with the four cups, you did have to give up on a lot. You probably do feel like um, you might have... You have some sort of like wasted potential, okay, is what I feel. Like with the nine of cups and the star, you're someone that has like a lot of potential. Very healing, um, balanced energy, very determined. Sorry, I got it. That's all wiggling all over the place, the camera, but. Um, you're someone with. You have, you have a lot of potential, right? I mean, with the star, it could even be like star potential, okay? You could be someone that could do great things in life. You could be someone that goes far in life, okay? Because of who you are and your energy. Um, so you might have felt for a long time like you were being forced to miss out on opportunities. You were being forced to give things up, um, like sit out, okay? I'm kind of getting like, you know, I used to play softball, so you weren't allowed to play on the field. You were being forced to sit on the bench for a couple games, okay? But you still sat on that bench because you hoped that one day you could go back and play, play, play the game again, right? You weren't gonna give up and say, well, fine, if I'm just sitting on the bench then I'm gonna just give up. No, you said, I'm gonna keep sitting here, fine. I gotta sit out for a little while. I gotta sit on the bench, but I believe in my dream and I know that one day I'm going to go out and I'm going to do it. Even if I have to sit out on the bench for a little bit, you get what I'm saying? Believing in the fact that this cycle will come to an end and you're going to be able to close out this cycle and leave it behind. And then once you get out on that field and you start playing that game, you're going to be the fucking star player, okay? You're going to hit all the fucking home runs and no one is going to stop you, okay? So that's kind of what it's giving me. It's like, you wanted to move forward on something here. You did, very determined to go somewhere in your life, do something with your life, move forward and do something. And then you have an energy here of someone that just wanted to get in your way. And it forced you to sit out on the bench. It was like against your will. You didn't want to sit on the bench. You didn't want to sit around and waste time and like, you know, diddle your thumbs here. But you felt like you had to for a while. But while you're sitting on the bench, you're still believing in that dream. You still know exactly where you're going. You just know that before you are able to go out and play that fucking ball game again and play it with your life, like with heart and soul, you might have to sit on the bench for a little bit. And not because you're wasting your time or because you're lazy or because you don't have goals and you don't know where you're going. It's because there's someone here that is trying to get in your way. Okay. So you might be like on a team with someone that, or you knew you were be you were on a team with someone that instead of playing the fucking ball game, they're like trying to throw the ball at your head and give you a concussion. Right? So you might've had to sit on the bench for a while, um, uh, just to make sure that that person leaves the team. And once you know you're safe, you can go out and play your game and you can put your whole heart and soul into it. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting here. Tell me about death and reverse. Two of 
Two of Swords, Three of Wands. <laughs> Again, Three of Swords and a Chariot. Yeah, it's like you, look at this. It's like you wanna move forward, you wanna plan your future, you know where you're going, and then you've got someone here blocking your path with like a firewall and they're like, you're not, no, you're not coming through. You wanna try and get to your future? You wanna try and get to your dreams? You wanna try and make something of your life? Watch this, I'm gonna put a firewall in front of you, haha. -ha. Haha, ha. try and get through the firewall. Try and th get through the firewall, Libra. Haha, ha. I bet you can't come. I bet you can't come. So you're just sitting there waiting for this person to be engulfed by the flames so that you can, like, you know, put it, put it out with water and just step over. It's like, okay, finally that problem has been resolved on its own, right? Yeah, three of swords and a chariot. It's like you want to, all you want to do, all you want to do in your life is move forward. All someone else wants to do here is lurk in the background in the shadow, like a fucking stalker, okay? And watch you through the window. Like, that's what's going on here, honestly. That is the same energy that's coming out with all the cards. You wanna move forward, and then you've got a, someone in the background, in the shadows, waiting to throw a machete on you, right? To stop you from moving forward. Yeah. It's like even on this card, right? In the background, there's like a current right here, okay? It's like this person has like, they've like um, summoned up like a kraken in the background, right? It's like they've, they, they've got a crack in here and then they have like this current here and this person's literally trying to make your path as hard as they possibly can. Like all they wanna do is get in your way. All this person lives for, breathes for, is getting in your fucking way and trying to make something as hard as possible. It's like, oh, it's not hard enough that someone's standing there with two swords trying to um, stop you from getting through and creating a stalemate in your life, right? Oh, that's not hard enough. No, they also have to put up a firewall and then they have to summon up a kraken demon thing in the background. And then they have to even make the water like treacherous and full of a current so that you get like, okay? That's the person that is trying to throw a baseball at your fucking head and give you a concussion, okay? So you're just waiting for this to get like sorted out. You're like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay over here then. Fine, I'll just stay over here, safe, until this gets taken care of. Because I know once it does, I'm on my path and there's nothing you can do to stop me. It's like, you're just waiting for the divine to wrap this one up for you at this point, okay? So you're not lazy. You're not sitting around doing nothing. You're not someone that has doesn't have goals or no determination or you don't have dreams. You don't know what you're doing with your life. You probably know exactly what you want to do, where you want to go. You have it all like mapped out in your brain, but you cannot do certain things right now. You cannot go certain paths right now. You cannot make certain moves right now because there's people lurking in the shadows trying to take everything from you that you build. Okay? You have to wait for the problem to go away before you can expand and blossom again, right? So Libra's just sitting on the bench here. Tell me about Chariot. Actually, tell me about the Seven of Wands. Yeah. High Priestess. I feel like this is just my confirmation with Temperance again, yeah. I feel like this is just my confirmation to the Seven of Wands. It's like you just... You know there's someone here trying to get in your way. The, a magician. Get in the way of your dreams. Get in the way of your dreams and what you're trying to manifest and your vision. That's what they're trying to get in the way of. What you're trying to manifest. What you want for your life. Yeah, pigeon! There you go. It just flew right here. And it flew right on that little house. I don't know if you can see it. It's sitting right there. Staring at me. And it just flew on my window and sat down right there. Now it's now it's staring at me. Yeah. This person is watching you closely because they want to know about your dreams. They know want to know about your goals. What are you doing? What do you have planned? What do you do next? What is coming in for you? Because they want to ruin it. That's why you're not doing anything right now. That's why you're just sitting around looking like you're not doing shit with your life. Because you know someone's trying to get in the way of it. And I feel like you you are smart enough. I can't even make it up. Five of swords. 
you are smart enough with the high priestess. You are smart enough to know that you are not going to do anything right now. You're not making any moves. You're not telling anyone your plans. You're not doing shit right now because there's people here that are trying to stab you in the back, betray you, steal your ideas, steal your content, steal your dreams, copyright your shit, whatever. There's people here that are trying to get to, to what you know and what you're going on in your dreams and stuff. That's why you're not doing anything. You're smart enough to wait until this problem has disappeared before you go after your real dreams, okay? Yeah. The magician, I can't even make it up, yo. Again, what you're manifesting, your dreams. There's somebody here, there's someone around you that's trying to steal this from you. There's someone around you that's trying to steal your manifestation and you're very, very smart and wise not to make a move right now, not to say anything right now. Don't, don't act on it. Don't write the shit on your computer. Don't do anything on any kind of technology because there's people that might even like try to hack your ideas. Okay. Get into your personal files, steal your ideas, steal your content, stuff like that. You have to be careful. That's why Libra is not making a move right now. And Libra won't until all these people have been removed. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Until you know that you're safe to do it. Until you know that you're being left alone. Once you know you're alone, being left alone, you've been, you know, you've been um, separated from this situation, then you will go after your dreams. Okay? And that's fine. Ace of Cups in reverse. You know people don't have any love for you. People don't have good intentions for you. Here. Okay, tell me about this Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords. That's you. So Queen of Cups, this could be your own mother. With the Queen of Cups coming out. Or this is someone you know. Devil. So this Queen of Cups might be someone that knows about a blessing that came in for you, okay? This person might know about um, maybe like a new business opportunity that you received here with the Ace of Coins, okay? This could be like a new gift or a new business idea that you had, okay, in the past. Um, and I don't know why I feel like the need to clarify this for a second, okay? But since so many of my readings have something to do with sex work. I'm just going to get that one out of the way. This has nothing to do with that. Okay? We're talking about something that's real. Real business. Okay? A real business. Not no taking your clothes off business. I'm talking about something that you need your fucking intelligence for. Okay? So this Queen of Cups might have known about this. They want to steal it. Devil. This person is deceptive. They're, um... They're, they're, they're a snake lurking in the shadows. It's like this person wanted to find out what you're up to, what you're doing. They wanted to know what you're planning. Oh, confirmation on my phone right now. Yeah, because they wanted to steal this. They wanted to get in, get in the way of this idea here that you have, right? So if this is someone that knows maybe about some idea that you had or like even the Ace of Coins, this could have been like a million dollar idea, right? That's what I'm kind of getting, okay? Because this has a lot to do with your dreams and you manifesting and moving forward on something that might have to do with a new business idea. So you might have had like a million dollar idea. This Queen of Cups knows about it. This person though is a fucking snake. Slithering in the shadows trying to figure out, you know, what are you doing? What are you up to? How can they get information about this? How can they steal it? How can they take this from you? How can they? And you're just like, well, you know, if, uh, if there's a devil around me trying to figure out what I'm doing, I'm just not going to do shit. How about that? Huh? Because you can't steal anything that's in my brain, right? You cannot steal anything that's in Libra's brain and mind. How are you going to steal that? Huh? How are you going to steal something like that? So Libra is smart. Knight of Coins. Libra is smart and thinking very long-term. Knight of Coins. <laughs> yeah. Libra, I'm telling you, this is about business. Libra is an extremely intelligent, and Libra is thinking very long-term at this point. Libra is thinking five to ten-year plan, um, and Libra is only going to start planning this whenever these 
these people have been removed from Libra's energy because before that happens, you're not gonna do anything. You are not gonna make any business moves. You are not gonna start anything new. You're not doing anything because there's people around you trying to ruin it for you. There's people around you trying to steal it from you, trying to get in the way of this, trying to ruin your business opportunities. No. Libra's got time. Libra's like, well, okay, well, if you know, if it can't happen this year, then maybe next year. We'll see, right? We'll see. Or maybe in two years. Time's not running away, right? From a million dollar idea? No. Nah. It's okay. Page of Swords, yeah, because you know people are watching you. People are watching you. They're stalking you. They're hacking you. Hacking into your files, trying to figure out what you're up to, trying to figure out what you're writing down, right? They're, they're st stalking and hacking, watching, trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're planning. That's why Libra ain't doing shit, okay? Because Libra is smart. <laughs> Five of Wands. Libra knows everybody's trying to compete with them, trying to steal from them, trying to fight them. <sighs> Tell me about, um, I'm going to, see Libra, I'm going to completely jump over this part with your dreams and you following your dreams because that's a secret. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna expose this part to the to the to the stalkers. To the stalking little hackers, watchers here that are trying to steal your idea. So we're gonna completely skip over what your dream is because they don't need to know about any of that. And we're gonna go straight to these people here who are trying to get in your way. How about that? Two of swords. Knight of swords, yeah, they wanna take action on this. A queen of coins in reverse. So there's someone here that is extremely materialistic, they're greedy, they have bad finances, right? Could this be, could be this Queen of Cups here. This person has really bad finances. They're not good at um, managing money very well. They overspend, okay? They overspend. They don't know how to make something grow themselves. They're not naturally abundant. This is the kind of person that is reliant on other people to come up with their money, right? This is not something that they build themselves. Okay, so this person is the one that's trying to get in your way and stop you from moving forward. Why does this queen of coins in reverse, this greedy, materialistic, shallow, um, bad with money, nothing grows here, queen of cups, why is this person trying to get in the way of Libra, huh? Why do they care? Let's see. Why do they care so much, huh? Because they refuse to grow up. Because this person refused to grow up. Because they're a bully. Because this Queen of Cups, Queen of Coins reverse, is a bully. Okay? This could be your own mother. This is someone that is just, like I said, like I said, they're not good with money. Nothing grows with them naturally. They need other people for their finances. They might have never made something big in their life, okay, without using other people. Um, they're very materialistic. They're jealous, probably, okay? They don't like that you would go farther in your life than they ever did, and they're a bully, okay? So you have a bully around you that doesn't want you to um, make your dreams come true, okay? Ace of Cups. You got a divine download, Ace of Cups. Whatever this idea was that you received, this was a divine download that you received straight from the divine. This million dollar idea is something that you received, Libra, straight from the divine. A divine download that you received because it's your creation. You came up with this with the help of the other side and your ancestors that gave you this knowledge so that you can apply this, okay? And make something of it. And now you've got stalkers, hackers, watchers trying to figure out what this is so that they can steal it from you, okay? Hacking into your computer, stealing personal files and stuff like that, you know? King of Wands, trying to steal your ideas. Yeah, good luck with that one. Good luck. Eight of Coins, this has something to do with your job and your career. This has something to do with something you've been working on. So did they already steal this? Did they already hack into Libra's computer and steal personal files now? That's why Libra's not doing anything, Hank man. That is why Libra is not doing absolutely shit right now, Hank man, except for waiting for these people to be eliminated. Okay? Because you know exactly what you're working on. You know that this is your idea. You know that this came to you. You know that this is something that was given to you as a divine download. 
This is your creation. This is yours. You created this. This is your idea. And there's people around you who are trying to steal it, who are ha hacking into your information, trying to get to information, trying to steal this from you, trying to get in the way, trying to stop you from, from, from taking this path. Page of Wands. What about the Page of Wands? Yeah, it could have something to do with documents. So maybe they already stole some documents from you, right? Maybe um, this Queen of Cups, Mother Figure, the King of Wands, whoever these people are, already stole documents from your computer and your laptop. Already stole things that you were working on, okay? Stole this from you because they're trying to steal it. They're trying to get in the way of your um, dreams and your plans. They're trying to claim it as their own here, Emperor. Oh, maybe the Emperor knows something about this, huh? Does the Emperor know about these hacked documents, trying to steal someone's work, trying to steal someone's ideas? Queen of Wands. A Queen of Wands? What the fuck? Why is she here? Eight of Cups. What? Death. Or is this about you moving forward confidently and not sure? Tell me more about this page of wands here. Journey. Yeah, it has something to do with your your you moving forward on your journey here. They're trying to stop you from moving forward. Yeah, break up separation. They're trying to uh, break you up from something. They're trying to cut you out of something. So they're trying to cut you out of something. See, how funny is that, right? You create... Um, an entire business plan, entire business model. You know exactly what you're doing, where you're going, your plans. You have created all of this for yourself. They hack your shit, steal your idea, your business idea from you, and then they try to cut you out of it and say that it's theirs. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can prove that it's yours, but okay. Is that what's going on here? Trying to steal a business idea and a business plan here. Reminiscing keepsake perception, learn from the past. Camera? Why is camera coming out here? Not today. And palm tree. Yeah, this is about your stability, your long-term stability, and you building something that has permanence and endurance. Not today. Not avoiding conversation, call person. I don't know. So what is this um, nine of wands here? Sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Something is shocking news, why? Because of you progressing and arriving and moving on in your life, uh-huh. And some sort of lies that they didn't want to be Exposed. So somebody didn't want something to come out. Somebody didn't want some sort of truth to come out, some sort of revelation, something to come to light about you progressing and arriving in your life. And this is shocking news because of a karmic relationship and all of the triggers and turmoil here and the resentment. Okay. What, is, what the hell does that have to do with anything? Wait, I don't, I'm, I'm not using those cards. Um, what's the Three of Swords? A King of Cups. A King of Cups wanted to hurt you. The Sun, that's the truth. This King of Cups wanted to hurt you, break you down, including all of your investments, everything you've invested in up until this point. They wanted to attack your career, attack your finances. Five of coins so that you're in poverty and left out in the cold and have absolutely nothing, nothing, right? In poverty. Joke's on them. As soon as these people get recycled out, just watch Libra. Just watch. Libra has lots of ideas. Libra is just not doing anything right now because she's waiting for this to go away. Okay? And Libra doesn't have to spread her legs or spread their legs, spread his legs to make money like some of these other people do. Okay? Libra has big ideas. Yes. Oh, they're so stressed out and worried. <laughs> oh, they're so stressed out and worried. Look at how stressed out and worried they are. They are so fucking stressed out about your investments. 
what you're going to build in your life, seven of coins. These people know that you are at the very beginning of your career. Okay. They're at, you're at the very beginning. You are investing into something. These people know, okay, that if you were to get going on where you're supposed to be going, you have so much potential Libra. These people know, especially this King of Wands here, this little stalker, hacker, watcher here, especially this one knows that if you were free of their reign of terror and control over your life, you would be investing and you could even become a fucking millionaire with your mind and brain, your creativity and your smarts. This King of Wands knows that and they don't want that for you. They will do everything they can to stop this from happening for you everything they know you're going far that's why they're trying to stalk you hack you watch you trying to steal your personal files information trying to stop you get in your way you know keep putting all these obstacles up in your life they don't want you getting anywhere but libra is smart libra is like okay king of wands you want to get in my way then i'm not doing shit you're trying to steal my ideas i'm not doing shit you want to try and hack my personal information hack my documents i'm not going to work on anything i'm not going to do anything I got time. How about you, King of Wands? How much time you got? Huh? Libra's just going to sit around and wait. Because Libra is just sitting on the bench. But once Libra gets out and gets back to the game, Libra's putting her whole heart into it. His whole heart into it. Just watch. Okay? That's what's going on here. Oh, and Libra's going to make that Ten of Coins money. Ace of Swords. Yes, Libra will become a millionaire one day. And Libra is going to become a millionaire without having to open up their fucking legs to do it. Watch, King of Wands. Watch Libra become a millionaire one day. Yeah, you will be. You will be. That's the truth. You are going to get to this Ten of Coins. You are going to get to this money, this generational wealth, old money, family money. You are going to build this, Libra. And you know exactly where, what you're going to do to get to this. It's all in your mind. You're just waiting patiently at this point for these idiots to leave you alone so that you can build your dream. That's why they won't stop leaving you alone. That's why they keep targeting you, getting in your way, trying to stop you. Because nobody wants you to be successful. How sad is that, right? But let me tell you, Libra, you are going to have victory and success. And you will build that dream. You will build that dream. You will build that business. You will build that idea. And you will be a millionaire. Yeah. Because you believe in that dream. And you know you can do it. And you know you're built for it. You know that you are the leader that can build this. And nobody's going to take it away from you because you're not writing it down. You're not going to put it anywhere on any files. Even if they try and hack you, good luck finding it. It's all in someone's mind. Good luck getting it out of someone's brain, King of Wands. Nobody's going to steal this idea from you. You're just sitting on the bench right now waiting for this bullshit to get wrapped up. Okay? Like I keep saying, Libra's got time. Okay? All right, man. I'm going to leave that that for the first part you're reading here. And then we'll see you on the second part if there's anything else you need to know and if there's any advice for you, okay? So thanks for watching and until next time, bye.